Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another video. I'm pretty excited because today I'm doing something a little bit different. You see, a couple of weeks ago I took my car to the dealer and you can watch the video up here. Something happened to my car, nothing serious. I could have repaired it myself, but I figured, you know what, let's take my tuned F30 to the dealer and let's see if it actually gets inspected, repaired, if they void the warranty. Well, you know what, I could do it myself. But anyways, you can watch the video up here and you can just find out for yourself. Um, but they gave me a loaner and I thought to myself, you know what, maybe I should start reviewing cars. You know, people are asking me, hey, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on this? And people have offered and, and even recommended me to start and, and reviewing cars. And I'm like, well, it's kind of a way from what I'm doing. Usually I have a lot of videos here that are F30 DIYs, specifically for my 320i model. Um, but I figured, you know what, let's give it a test run. And that's what this video is. So guys, without further ado, let me introduce to you the 2021 BMW 228i X Drive. Let's go. This is a 2021 2 Series Grand Coupe 228i X Drive. But you shouldn't confuse it with its similar two door 2 Series. In fact, it's a totally different car than what you expect. This one has four doors and it's based on a Mini. Well, it shared the modular UKL platform with Minis, which are of course front wheel drive cars with transverse mounted engines. But with BMW, you are getting an all wheel drive car. Base price is 38,000. Powertrain, look at it, 2.0 liter turbocharged, inline four, eight speed automatic all wheel drive. You're looking at 228 horsepower at 5,000 and 6,000 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque at 1,400 and 4,500 RPM. Curb weight, looking right about 3,500 pounds. Fuel economy, city 23, highway 33, average combined around 27 miles per gallon. Let's talk interior comfort and the cargo. Cabin styling matches that of a modern BMW like the 3 Series sedan and the X3 SUV. It's a basic driver focused design featuring very nice ambient interior lighting that illuminates the dashboard and door panels. BMW states that the rear seating legroom is the same as the larger 3 Series sedans. But overall, the cabin feels snug for both front and rear seating passengers. The 2 Series Grand Coupe's small cargo area is good enough for the daily traveler. For the infotainment and connectivity, there is a 10.3 inch reconfigurable digital gauge display and a dashboard mounted 10.3 inch touchscreen. Navigation and Series XM satellite radio come standard, but a wireless smartphone charging pad and Harman Kardon stereo system will cost extra. And BMW provides Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability and no charge. It's a good small car and the least expensive way to join the BMW Owners Club. Fairly balanced and fun to drive for an entry level sports luxury coupe. In many ways, it feels more like its front driver corporate cousin, the Mini, than it does the 2 Series Coupe. Well, there you have it. This review is based off things I look for, right? It's personal interests and opinions, and every reviewer is subjective, right? And this is what I think of this car. So thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of this. If you want to see more of these videos, drop a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and I will produce more reviews on different BMWs. Again, if it brings you value and if it helps you make a decision on what BMW to buy, that's a bonus for me. So subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next week, family. Thank you.